Do not become bitter after the pain. Become better and live your life to the fullest. No one is responsible for your happiness but you. Make your life meaningful and count each day after you've overcome these pains. You need to feel the pain and accept it. When you start accepting that your situation is real, you can slowly release yourself from the torture. Don't blame others for your pain. Instead, accept the responsibility to come out of that pain. Keep your faith and continue living. There are several accounts of God bringing people out of their pains in the Word of God. Yours is not an exception. You can come out of that pain. In 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17, the Bible says, quote, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. End quote. This tells you that the pain you might be going through is light, that it won't kill you, and it's also for a moment. It won't last forever. This is an encouraging and assuring scripture. So that pain in your life will end. It won't last forever as long as you believe in God. God does not allow his own to suffer. You can rest assured that the pain will end. One thing you must know is that God never instills pain and he won't cause that pain in you to stay too long. It is not God's will for you to suffer and be in pain. He will always bring you out of that pain. An example is the story of Sarah. She never had a child till old age. That was a great pain for her. She was too old to give birth to a child, but God gave her an answer. The same with Hannah. She believed in God and prayed and even made a vow to God. God saw her pain and tears and gave her an answer. If only you'll see God's face and believe that he'll bring you out of that pain. As far as you trust God to bring you out of that pain, there will be an end to it. Are you going through a lot? Sickness, loss, financial, drought, and so on? The situation won't last forever. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8 says, quote, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, end quote. So there might be trouble on every side. It will not end there, but rather it'll end in joy. Though you may fall many times, you will always rise again. No pain is meant to stay with you forever. Even Jesus took our pain and then he rose again and was given a name that is above all names. The same will happen to you too. Suffering or pain is presented to us as the normal experience of everyone living between the fall of Adam and Eve and the future coming of Christ. God hasn't failed, his plan hasn't failed, and you and I haven't been abandoned. As we know that God has a purpose for leaving us for some time in a terrible world like this, we can suffer but not be hauntingly perplexed or in constant despair, nor feel forsaken or that we're about to be destroyed. Sometimes these pains come to strengthen our faith in God and not stay for long. You'll always come out of the pain because it's not for long. The Bible says that, quote, and we know that all things work together for good to them who love God, end quote. So that pain will in turn bring forth blessing. It'll be turned into joy. Just as Christ turned water into wine, he will soon turn that sorrow and pain into gladness. God is so true to his word, he cannot lie. He says that the night cometh, but joy comes in the morning. It isn't God's plan and purpose to make you live in forever pain and suffering. The day will always come after night, so always joy will come after sadness. That pain will not last forever. It will come to an end. Pain has the power to expose our self-righteousness. We like to tell ourselves that we're spiritually okay, but pain also exposes the bad things that still live inside us. In our pain, we're irritable, envious, demanding, impatient, doubtful, and angry. Pain doesn't make us this way, but it draws out what's been inside us already. Pain has the power to destroy our self-reliance. We weren't created to be self-reliant, so self-reliance never produces good things in us. We were created to be dependent on God. Pain exposes the fact that we're not self-sufficient and that we do need others. The pain causes us to cry out to God, 
perhaps more genuinely, more deeply, and more humbly than ever before. So pains will always come to an end if we go to God. Pain is never really there to stay in your life forever. It is to the end that glory comes out of it. So the Bible would say that Jesus took our pain so that we might not pass through pain. The pain you are passing through, Jesus passed through it for you, so you cannot stay so long in it. It will soon fade away. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, quote, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. end quote. An expected end here talks about a beautiful and glorious end, not a painful one. That pain you are going through might just be a process. It's a phase of your life that you have to go through to be strong and courageous for the next phase. Each phase is leading you closer to your glory. You are never to stay in that phase forever. Life is just like a hurdle, which must be overcome to get to the final stage of success and glory. As long as you keep focusing on Jesus, you will end it well. You won't remain in that pain forever. There's a saying that no gain without pain. It's just as if pain is a necessity of life. It makes you into a strong person. But the beautiful thing is that it won't last if you can trust God. Every pain will end if you can wait and trust God. Many lose their faith in God on the way because they couldn't wait, and this causes the pain to continue. The Bible says to follow those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. The pain will never come to an end if you will not be patient and maintain your faith in God. So faith and patience are key to overcoming pain in one's life. The sufferings and pains you see in your life are a result of a lack of faith in God and the inability to wait. If you could just wait and be strong in faith, that pain will come to an end soon. Lastly, pain sometimes is meant to make us better and also stronger than we are now. One thing you must know is that pain will either leave you a better person or a battered person. It will either make you or mar you. It'll either make you stronger or weaker. So pain is not the goal or the end of it. So you choose what pain will do to you. You can bring better results out of the pain that you're going through. So the pain is never meant to last forever. You are a better determinant of whether it lasts forever or not. In conclusion, life is fashioned in a way that there's always ups and downs. So don't think the pain is just peculiar to you. Pain, sorrow, hurt, and so on will come your way, and so also will joy, laughter, and so on come. You don't have to panic. There is always a way out of it. The pain is only for a moment and not forever. Also, there might have been pains you've gone through in the past. Let go of them and focus on what God has for your future. In doing so, you won't have to live in the hurts of the past. Never stop believing God. Wait patiently for his answer. Your pain will never last for long. It will end soon.